There I was, on my way home from the office after an uneventful day of work. It was then that I heard the scream of a woman in the distance. My instincts kicked in immediately and I dashed towards the direction of the scream. I wonder what it is this time. Who are you? Who are you working for? Naturally, I saved the girl. However, it was time to find out exactly what was going on. It looked as though this was a case for the Chomsky to handle. Wait, could you tell me why those men were after you? I assume they're after me because of my father. He is the district attorney of the city, and he's trying to break up their underground drug highway. Hmm. Well, let me introduce myself. I'm Detective Chomsky. Looks like I got here in just in the nick of time. But I have a sneaking suspicion that they'll come after you again. Thank you, Detective. I'm Vivian. Vivian Wild. What should I do if they come back? Don't worry, ma'am. I'll make sure you're safe tonight. I stayed the night and made sure that Miss Wild felt safe. <laughs> it also turns out she wanted a piece of the Chomsky. I can't say I blame her. But now, I had to get to work on the case. I need to figure out where to find these thugs so that I can stop them before they get to Vivian. It looked like I was going to have to go back to the crime scene to find some answers. I perused the crime scene for any clues to lead me in the right direction. Well, what do you know? They dropped a letter from their boss. The blue parrot, huh? Looks like it's time to pay them a visit. Right this way, sir. I knew it would be dangerous to go ahead into the hideout without backup, but the Chomsky isn't one to share the glory. This man was clearly the head of this organization, but why so caviar? I decided I would take it easy and relish this moment. Welcome, Detective. Glad you could join us. Heard you've been doing some snooping around, and uh, quite frankly, I'm surprised at how quickly you found the place. Nothing, it's past the Chomsky. It's only a matter of time before I shut you down. I do apologize, Detective. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. Let me introduce myself. I'm Maximilian Lucian. Chomsky. It's getting a little, a little too hot for my taste. Why don't we settle this man to man with a little poker? What is he trying to get at with this? Regardless, I'll play his game. The Chomsky never loses. There I was, in the belly of the beast. What had I just got myself into? Or better yet, what had they got themselves into? Naturally, four of a kind, aces. It's the end of the line for you, Chomsky. You ready for this?
Vivian, I've dealt with those thugs for you. You don't have to worry anymore. I'm so relieved. I didn't think you'd make it out alive, Chomsky. It takes more than a few thugs to get rid of the Chomsky. I guess I better think of some way to repay you. I know a way. <laughs>